Hello, I hope you're well. In this series, we are going to learn how to use liquid crystal displays with Arduino. In the series, we're going to have six total videos, uh, three of which will be on YouTube, and we'll start with how to set up an LCD with your Arduino, and then we will jump into the liquid crystal library functions, and those will encompass two videos, a part one and a part two. We'll be going through all of the functions in that library. And then we'll jump into several practical examples. So one will be user interface with potentiometer. So basically having things displayed on your LCD that you can select with an LCD with the potentiometer, like option one, two, or three. And then having a user interface with a button selector, so you have buttons to kind of move the cursor around and select options. And then finally, we'll do a practical example with uh, displaying tweets that you get from Twitter. So, you know, having a display on your project can really mean the difference between a good user experience and one that's maybe a little frustrating because if you have a project that people have to interact with, having some type of graphical user interface can really assist them to kind of accomplish what it is that's supposed to be done uh, on the project. You know, I've always been a little frightened by the idea of using a display because I thought maybe it added a level of complexity that I just wasn't ready for, but to my delightful surprise, I was dead wrong. It turns out that using LCDs with Arduino is inc uh, incredibly easy, and it is super easy also to integrate with your project. And this is all because of the liquid crystal library that becomes pre-installed on your Arduino IDE. And it's really kind of the crux of making the LCDs work so easily. And it's it's really the key component to this series. So we're going to get very familiar with the liquid crystal display library and using the functions. But, you know, let's let's just take a step, uh, step back a second and ask ourselves, well, you know, why why would we go with a liquid crystal display? I mean, there's there's lots of graphical uh, interfaces, but why an LCD? So, I mean, you might be thinking, Michael, LCDs, give me a break. That's like 1970s, 80s technology. I mean, hey, did your swatch watch break and you're trying to fix it? But, you know, the real deal, it's like LCDs, there's a lot of good reasons to use it. First off, they're extremely affordable. I've got, I got mine, and it is a 16 column, two row LCD, very common type. And I got it for just over 10 bucks on Jamaco. And you can really, you can find them just about anywhere and you can find them in different sizes, different display colors. So, um, you know, you can probably find a size that fits your budget. And so, I mean, affordability is one good reason to go with an LCD, LCD display. You know, another thing, and I kind of already touched on this, is that they're really just about everywhere. I mean, they're in your automobiles, they're in household appliances, they're in uh, automation like factories, and you, you just, um, you can't hardly turn and not see an LCD somewhere. I mean, they might not be on your iPad and they might not be in your computer, but just because they're not there doesn't mean they're not just about everywhere else. And so the fact that they're plentiful is good for us. And why is that? The reason is there's a lot of support out there for us. So if you're trying to do new and cool things, um, somebody very likely has probably done that new thing already. It's kind of funny, right? But so you can get support for uh, a question you might have. You can do a quick search, and lots of people use LCDs with Arduino. So it's not going to be some new field you're going to have to discover for yourself, which is a good thing when you're just jumping into it. And then finally, LCDs, again with this liquid crystal display library, are so easy to use that uh, it allows you just to kind of jump in quickly. You don't have a lot of, there's not a lot of back learning you have to do. You just got to kind of familiarize yourself with the library, uh, with the functions in the library, and then you can really just get going. So a lot of good reasons to use LCDs. So that's enough. That's kind of the introduction. That's what we're going to be doing in this series. So let's go ahead and get our hands dirty. Bye. Thank you.